know, this has been beyond for Mr. Lewis Farrakhan by some way, shape, or form that the enemy has tried to paint him as a, a misog being misogynistic, right? And the def definition of that is like hatred or prejudice toward women. And we have our sister, Sister uh, Michonne, who is, she's the sister that's responsible for the <clears throat> teaching and the training of the sisters who have accepted Islam here in the city of New Orleans and even just doing whatever she can to help our sisters who are not in the mosque. We just don't, our services just doesn't stop at these four, these four walls. So Sister Michonne, what are your thoughts when you hear that they're trying to paint the honorable Mr. Lewis Farrakhan as one who has prejudices and hatred <laughs> toward women? And, and the other sisters who are on, you all can. Um, it's funny and it's almost laughable um, being in a nation. I've been in a nation almost 21 years. And when you talk about the love, the reason why I accepted the teachings because I studied different religions before I accepted Islam and Islam under his direction. And it was because when I came in, um, I grew up uh, in a community where my family members, it was this strong black woman. Like, you don't need a man to take care of you and all of that kind of stuff. And when I came into the mosque, it was completely opposite of that. The feeling that I got, it felt that I could be a strong black woman, but it taught me the balance of what the value of a man and a woman. I didn't want children. So under his direction, it made me... Um, it made me more free. And I think that people, when they see Muslims and they see us covered, they think that we're in bondage. But as a woman who's striving to be upright, the woman who embraced my Islam, I've never felt so free in my life because when I walk out my door, when I sleep in my bed, I, I sleep in peace because I'm not sleeping anybody's husband and all of, all of these valuable things. I'm not robbing anybody and doing all of those things. And it's because of what this man teaches. And with, it's laughable because his national representative is a woman, Minister Ava. First, 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 first. And she's a lawyer. So he's not teaching us to be barefoot and go cooking in a kitchen. He teaches us that you can be a lawyer, you can be a doctor, you can be all of, you can run an organization, all of those things. But he's teaching us not to devalue our womb, which is something that the world is teaching us. Like this whole abortion thing that's going on. It's devaluing the woman. It's not saying that she's valuable as she is. And so that uh, one of my favorite lectures is the value of a woman. Mm -hmm. He, uh, our uh, national center is called Mas Mariam. He has women's only cl uh, meetings, and we have a class in which he's a part of, but it's a part of our independence from this world, not our independence from a man. And so it's mm -hmm. very laughable uh, for the most part. But I also uh, I enjoy that, and the women that I know that are close with him, um, on the executive team that he has. He has women that's at the table, and just like you said, even locally, like what, how we're treated here, we have a voice at the table on the national le level and on our local level. So um, I don't see a hatred of women at all. I see a man who loves a woman and loves women and think that this whole ushering of a new kingdom is gonna come from a woman. And just thinking about, when you think about misogynists, they are envious of women. They are competitive of women. When you see the Women's March, he has someone from that on the the, uh, the platform with him for Savior's Day, on the stage with him. So in, in all that he talks about, he doesn't do, yes, it was a good little march that they did. He uplifted the Women's March and talked about what good things that they're doing. So I don't think he's jealous of women. I think that, yeah, he frees us. It helps us see our value. 